everyone, welcome to Connie's Healthy Kitchen. I Today I just wanted to share with you a really quick, uh, easy recipe that I found while I was on program. Or, and uh, it's buffalo chicken spaghetti squash. It's really, really good. Anything buffalo chicken, you can't go wrong. Especially when it's got the Frank's hot sauce with it. So I just wanted to share with you how I go about making it. One of the things you start off with is spaghetti squash and I already cleaned out the centers and they're ready to go in the oven. You can bake these at 400 for about 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes. I always place them face down so it creates some steam. And a lot of times I'll take another sheet of tin foil and just kind of cover them up, seal it up so it recreates kind of a steaming pocket. So I got that all covered and we're going to put that in and at the same time during the summer we usually grill up a bunch of boneless skinless chicken breasts and have it on hand and a lot of times I'll just bake up a bunch of them just because I love having some cooked chicken. It's a really nice lean protein and throughout the day if you feel like you need a little more oomph you know, three ounces of white chicken breast is not gonna hurt you. Full protein. And I didn't ran out of pre-cooked chicken breast, so I am going to go ahead while my uh, spaghetti squash is cooking, or baking, I should say, I'm going to put in three chicken breasts, boneless, skinless. I cut up all the excess fat. And to give it a little flavor, because plain chicken can be a bit bland, um, I'm gonna spray it. You know me and my uh, sprays here, the nonstick sprays. But I'm gonna spray it with the Pam uh, olive oil. You can use any cooking spray that has olive oil on it. It just allows you to circumvent having to use your fat on the chicken while it's cooking. And I have this really nice blend I found on the internet. And it's got Oh, it's got salt and pepper, garlic, onion, and some other spices. But a fourth of a teaspoon of this is considered one condiment. And as you can see, I use two quarter teaspoons or half a teaspoon on the chicken. So after you cut it all up, uh, you really reduce your condiment exposure on this program to about a half a condiment. I'm going to put a lid on this as well so it doesn't dry out while it's baking. Now I'm going to pop these in the oven. Set the kitchen timer for 30 minutes and when they are finished I'll come back at you and then uh, we'll start prepping the actual boats themselves. Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, this is a few hours after I put the chicken and the uh, spaghetti squashes in the oven. Uh, so the spaghetti squashes cooked really nice and uh, they actually cooked about 40 minutes at 400. And this has never happened to me before. I'm like so stoked. I was cleaning out the spaghetti squash shells and they didn't rip on me. So we actually can use these as our bowls for this particular meal. And I'm so excited because they always show the picture of the recipe stuffed into the spaghetti bowl shell and I always destroy them when I'm scraping them out. So I feel like this is my lucky day. All right, so we got the spaghetti squash cooked, cooked up our chicken. I diced them all up and I measured everything out. So I am making three servings of this. And when I post the recipe, you will see that it's a uh, the recipe is for one serving so I'm multiplying this by three so you want to start off with um, for a recipe of one 155 grams of spaghetti squash since I'm doing three servings I just multiply that by three and then you want to add your cabbage and in the recipe you only do one green serving of cabbage that would be 44.5 grams and again i multiplied it by three since there's going to be three of us eating this meal and you're going to saute this up 
and heat it all the way through. And then while it's cooking, you're gonna to wanna to add your spices. Uh, the regular recipe for one is a fourth teaspoon garlic powder and an eighth teaspoon of onion powder. So I'm gonna do that three times over. So this is the onion powder. We wanna do an eighth of a teaspoon per serving. What I'm amazed is that an eighth of a teaspoon of anything is uh, more than you realize. I didn't, when I started this program, I thought, ooh, an eighth of a teaspoon, there's not gonna be any flavor in that. But it's amazing how much it does add. Now, for the garlic powder, you get a fourth teaspoon, so we'll do that three times. Get the, ooh, got a little garlic smell. There we go. Alrighty, got that all set, and now we're just going to toss it and get it all integrated into our veggies here. What's nice is the cabbage is going to add a nice crunch to it, and then of course the spaghetti squash is always so filling, it's a nice alternative to pasta or rice things that are higher in the glycemic, higher carb area. Alrighty, then we're gonna add the chicken. Now the recipe calls for one serving of four and a half ounces of chicken. Uh, with our program, we're allowed six ounces of protein when it's a leaner protein. And since chicken breast is a leaner protein, but we're adding cheese, because who doesn't love cheese? Um, we're having less chicken meat in this mixture here. It's four half ounces, because then the fourth cup of mozzarella cheese is gonna be topping this dish. So, yay. And then, while it's cooking and heating up, we're gonna add some Frank's hot sauce. Now, per recipe, you get two tablespoons of these. So we're gonna be doing six tablespoons of this spicy goodness. And we do like the Frank's hot sauce here. Uh, my one son who likes spicy, the other son does not, but sometimes he treats it like it's ketchup. So, all right, and I think this is the sixth one. Excellent. And we'll just stir that all up, make sure we got it good and integrated and mixed into all the yummy base here. What was nice about cooking up those chicken breasts is um, after they were cooked and I measured out, I still had some chicken breast meat left and I just diced it up and then all I have to do is throw together a Caesar salad tomorrow, or uh, if I want to mix it up with some more of the spaghetti squash, and maybe put some uh, Victoria uh, pasta sauce on it, or rouse a low sugar type pasta sauce. And it's just a quick grab and go type meal. All right. So now what we're going to do is weigh it out. Um, so I'm going to grab one of the shells and put it on my scale here. And I already did the math. So each shell will get 322 grams of this mixture. And that will be your lean and green for the dinner on my program. There we go. Ooh. Oh, get a little bit more. Woohoo. There we go. So that's one shell. It's kind of cute in a little bowl like that. We'll zero this out. Sometimes, because I did measure all this out exactly, there's a little left over. You just go ahead and put it evenly in all the different boats. 
I don't know why that is. No matter how exact I get on the measurements, it always turns out a little weird, a little off. But hey, if it means we get more, we get more. And this seems like a firmer one. All right. All right. Ooh, this smells so good. How many of you out there like buffalo chicken anything? I never think you can go wrong with that. Chicken wings, you know, it's no big secret that they're not exactly the healthiest things to eat. But uh, let's be honest, the spice is good. All right, so I had measured all that out and we still have a lot left over, so we're just gonna divide it evenly because I did weigh everything out ahead of time to make sure we're exact measurements. And it's math, so my guess is it's the math that I goofed up on. And I'll own that. There we go. Oh, what fun. All right. And I'm just gonna turn off this electric skillet here. You wanna keep the heat at like medium, medium high, but you know, keep an eye out on it because you can start scorching pretty quickly. And we don't want that. All right. Now, the next step is the cheese. And you can play around with this a little bit. If you're a person who likes to have more cheese, you can always back off the amount of ounces of chicken that you're gonna put into your dish. So if you like, let's say two and a half ounces of cheese, then only put three and a half ounces of uh, chicken in. Um, did I do that right? Yeah, three, yeah. So. I'm just following the recipe today, so I am just sticking to what they call four, which is a fourth cup. And I already measured it out, so I didn't have to do it while I was talking with you. All right. So this is what they look like, and this each shell is one dinner, one whole lean and green. You gotta get in for the day on my program. Now, it might be too much, you can always split it up. Um, you can have like half of it for the dinner and then in your next time you're supposed to eat, eat the other half with the fueling. So as a piece of resistance, at the very end, after um, it's recommended that you microwave these to melt the cheese on it, which is nice. Like tonight, I'll be working. My husband gets home late. Um, my other son is a, a student and he's got some work he's gotta do. So we're all kind of be basically grabbing and going at our own um, timing and our own schedules. So with this, all they have to do is pop it in the microwave and then you can drizzle two tablespoons because these are your fat there's the Hidden Valley Ranch. The recipe calls for drizzling it with two tablespoons of this Hidden Valley Ranch light dressing. Um, a fat is defined by five grams of fat in the dressing and five or less carbs per serving. And a serving on this is two tablespoons. We're more of a blue cheese family when it comes to any kind of buffalo chicken taste. So this one I really like, it's even better than and healthier than this. Um, these Bolt House Farm yogurt dressings are to die for. For two tablespoons of this, it's uh, two and a half grams of fat and two carbohydrates. So this I think is the better deal. Um, and since we're blue cheese fans, we'll be topping it off with this. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, hope this uh, is something you'd like to give it a shot. Let's see how it looks. Ah, okay. So now when the kids are ready to eat, or my husband and my one child, he can pop his back into the microwave to warm it up a little bit and then just drizzle it with the dressing. I'll do mine because I'm gonna be eating soon. So I will take this boat, shake up the dressing. Special thanks to my son, Peter, who ran out and got this for me. 
and you just drizzle the blue cheese on top. And voila, yummy, sumptuous, creamy goodness. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me and uh, just let me know what you uh, think about it and I'll put the recipe at the bottom. Bye.